With the advent of affordable mid-tier mirrorless cameras like Blackmagic Pocket, Canon R5, Sony a7S III or Zcam, knowing how to work with raw footage inside DaVinci Resolve has become a requirement. So much more, manipulating the raw footage metadata parameters will give you a whole new level of tapping into the full color science potential offered by the camera sensor. So what is raw media? Without diving too deep into the raw media anatomy, we'll just sum it up by saying that it consists of the raw image data captured by the digital sensor. By default, raw image data cannot be viewed, therefore it needs to be debayered first, or interpreted if you wish, to a readable friendly format suitable for video editing applications like DaVinci Resolve. The main advantage of raw video footage besides a wide dynamic range is that now we have access to the metadata parameters of the clip itself, making it very easy to manipulate them in post-production. So for example, if you recorded a shoot in the wrong white balance, you can simply fix that by setting the correct one in the camera raw tab in Resolve. Each camera model capable of capturing raw media has a distinct set of metadata parameters specific to the manufacturer, but the majority of them refer to common luminance and color manipulation like contrast, exposure, ISO or white balance, color space and gamma curves. Depending on the camera model, there are several settings we can choose from when we record in a RAW format that generally affect quality and file size. For instance, the Blackmagic Pocket cameras record 12-bit B-RAW formats in two main encoding options constant bitrate and constant quality, each with its own set of adjustments. Constant bitrate encoding performs well for scenes where there is not a whole lot of change in the detail happening from frame to frame. For instance, scenes where you can predict the movement and detail in the frame and where there are no sudden changes. There are several compression ratios to choose from that will cap the bitrate at a certain level. The result is a manageable file size at the expense of dropped quality on high detail movement when higher bitrate is needed. The 5 to 1 ratio setting results in an optimal balance between quality and file size for a variety of uses. Constant quality on the other hand has no cap on bitrate and ensures that the compression will adapt the demand for higher quality as needed such as in a busy scene with lots of detail and movement. This is similar to the commonly known variable bitrate codec where the system will conform to the need for increased data at the expense of greater file sizes. The constant quality option offers a few types of quantization levels from Q0 through Q5. Q0 will give you the best quality footage but a big file size. Q5 will offer a much lighter file but at less quality. These are compression parameters that will decide the size needed for your files to accommodate the need for extra data to maintain a constant quality. It is worth noting that the quality differences between constant bitrate and constant quality encoding options are only visible when inspected at zoomed-in levels. Ultimately, the raw encoding option should be decided based on the type of scenes, storage capacity and write speed. A side note here that if you are recording in a high frame rate B-RAW format at full resolutions, make sure you have a reliable SSD or cards with the fast write speeds so you won't get dropped frames. If you are still getting dropped frames, it might be worth switching to Apple ProRes formats. The Camera RAW palette in the color page offers direct access to the RAW clip metadata. These parameters will reflect the specific RAW media formats depending on the supported camera manufacturer. Here, for instance, is where you can make the initial per clip adjustments to bring your grade to a base level or in case you need to override the original values of a wrong white balance, ISO or exposure. Any other aesthetic color grading adjustments and decisions should be done on the color wheels and curve palettes for ease of user interface accessibility. When it comes to color grading workflows, two of the most important parameters to keep in mind are color space and gamma curve. Choosing a log encoded gamma output and a wide gamut color space is critical for a workflow to maximize wide dynamic range in the color grading process. Each camera raw palette parameter in the color page can also be found in the project settings under the camera raw section for each supported camera manufacturer. The only difference is that these settings will apply to all raw clips instead of individual per clip fashion. This option works great as a default for any imported media. 
However, you can override the project level settings if you switch over to decode using clip from the menu in the Camera Raw palette. You can easily copy any changes you made in the Camera Raw palette of an individual clip to other raw clips on your timeline. Simply hold the Ctrl or Command key and select the raw clips you want these settings applied to, then click Use Settings. The settings you made will replace the original raw clip parameters with the ones copied. Likewise, if you wish to reset the raw clip parameters to the original ones captured by the camera, click on the three dots at the top of the camera raw palette and select Reset. The revert option will return the raw parameters back to the values they were when you first selected the clip. If and when you are copying grades from one clip to another, you can preserve the camera raw settings from being overwritten, selecting the Copy Grade Preserve Camera Raw Settings menu item when you right-click in the gallery. Well, I hope you got a sense of the raw media leverage power in post-processing and color manipulation. With more and more manufacturers adopting raw video formats to their entry-level cameras, we now have the option of tapping into the potential of the entire image data offered by the digital sensor like never before. Nevertheless, knowing how to manipulate this data to our own benefit will take our color grading to a new level. I'll see you in the next video.